Hey, this is Rich Knapp with Common Joe Fire Videos. Got my Goblin 380 here. Now, uh, well, I'm going to start out with kind of going through. I did a common guy, you know, build for a budget minded guy. Um, I went with the uh, Contronics. Um, let's see here, what's the exact number on it? The 2820-890. Uh, I went with that because there wasn't that much more than the other motors. So I went with that motor because it's got you know a good reputation. It's got good reviews. Just went with a, a Brain 5R unit. Uh, the DSMX Sats. I went with uh, Castle Creations 10 amp BEC because I like running my BECs as your followers know. Now, uh, to keep in budget a little more, I, went, I did go with the BK tail servo to 5005 HV. And I went with the, uh, the Servo King DS995 uh, cyclic servos. And uh, it's, been fly, it's been flying really good. Um, we got dialed in for my style flying. But now we're also working on dialing it in because I have uh, I let other people fly my birds to see how they fly before they go ahead and they spend the money and pick one up. So now we're actually tuning it for more like say harder 3D and stuff like that. But for my style flying, it's all tuned in. Um, I really like the way it's flying. I started out at a lower head speed, and guys were talking about well you know it's sweet spots kind of like around 3400 and I've actually been finding myself flying it more in that 3400 during testing and tuning than anything less because it does it 3400 for this bird feels really good um, I did since my last video I did go to uh, the Lynx CNC servo mounts for cyclics um, the plastic I'm not I'm old school where you know, if the plastic flexes, I don't like that. <laughs> um, I went to the metal ones, and everything is rock solid now. I don't have to worry about flexing and stuff, but uh, um, they seem to be re working really good. Uh, I had my friend Mark out there flying it for me when I was uh, having him double-check the hardcore 3D settings, and uh, he flew it. And then uh, he was, you know, throwing it around not as hard as his birds, but he was throwing it around pretty hard. And it didn't seem squishy or anything. It was handling everything really good. Um, it feels a little more... I'm not sure if there was flex in the plastic or not. But for some reason, maybe it's... Uh, maybe it's the placebo effect or what. But it did feel a little tighter. Um, you know, I, I have the Zeals on it now. The Zeal 380s. The, Z, uh, the, Ener the Energies and the Zeal Tails. I had that on before. Uh, my last night uh, day out testing. Uh... But everything, it, it feels really good. You know, if you're looking for like a 380 size bird, and, you know, if you want to build a budget, the bird handles nice to where you're going to crash it less than a less precise bird. Um, you can build it budget-minded. You can go with a, a, a cheaper motor. Um, you're not going to have the power, you know, but you can go with a cheaper motor. The Servo King servos, they're doing just fine. Um, you know, the tail servo, I went with the, the BK5005 because of the, the case size. I couldn't get uh, the Servo King tail servo to fit in there. Um, but yeah, you can build it budget-minded. So don't rule it out when you're doing your research on a 380 size bird. The handle's really good. You're going to crash it less than a bird that is a sloppier build. Um, you're going to enjoy flying it. So, uh, but now, yeah, I'll, uh, we're getting close to the end of fly season here. Going to be basically putting it on the shelf for the winter. But maybe I'll uh, get a video of actual flying out. Uh, we are this close to having it totally tuned in where it won't be any more test flights. It'll just be me flying and then, you know, see about getting a video. Right now, we're so excited about flying that when we get to the field, all we care about is flying because we want to get it in before the end of the season. So... But okay, until next time, you know, that's my update on uh, in the series so far on the 380 I'm coming out that I'm going to be putting on it uh, and see what the comparison will be. So uh, until next time.
Happy flying!